What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we're doing a Pokemon video. We're going to be opening up a Espeon GX collection box. Uh, but before we jump into that, I want to go over some recent news. And uh, so I'm going to pull up the PokePeach website as always. Uh, big shout out to Water Pokemon Master for always keeping us in the loop for what's going on. Uh, even in both the English side of things as well in the Japanese. And so today, the Sky Legend, which is going to be the next set. Um, so this is not included in Unbroken Bonds. This will probably be in the Unified mines uh, which probably not do for like another three months but so in sky legend just the secret rares kind of came out and I do appreciate how the Pokemon uh, they're called Pokemon Company in the US, I'm not sure what they're called in Japan. Uh, but essentially they are continuing to come up with new ideas and kind of like innovate on the art side where I think for a lot of collectors, myself included, uh, you know, I feel like the art is really relevant, if especially for everyone that doesn't play in the competitive scene. Uh, so just to hit some of my favorite ones, so here's the execu Alolan Executor Rowlet where I feel like this art is hilarious, especially since the, the heads are actually in the corner and I don't know, I feel like this is like his tail or his butt <laughs> and it's kind of like front and center with the Rowlet flying around. So that's the full art variety and then the alternative art is pretty cool as well uh, because um, when you think about like the Alolan Executor is this huge tree and the Rowlet is this little bird. Uh, so I feel like this puts it in both to scale and to be, to be honest when I first saw this card it's like Oh, it's an ex a lonely executor GX. That's pretty cool. Then it took me a while to realize there was oh wait, 270 HP. That's the same thing as the tag team card. Uh, and there's the Rowlet uh, towards the top of it. So I find that hilarious. Let's go on to the next one. Um, this is the Team Rocket Trainer. Uh, so here we have the classic Jesse and James. And I felt like this is very true to uh, kind of like the original Pokemon series uh, where Jesse and James, Team Rocket, they had Meowth and I guess at the time they had, or when they had Wobbuffet as well and how they're just constantly always messing, messing everything up for their evil schemes and stuff like that. So I feel like this is a great art uh, for this card. Uh, let's go on to the next one, which is, I believe, is this the Viridian Forest uh, trainer? Um, here, this is just a really cool art again. Um, I love how it's kind of like outlined uh, in yellow. I feel like it just makes this whole image pop. Uh, the the trainers are they're kind of I feel like sometimes they call them like the gold trainers and how the whole picture is outlined in gold. Really cool. And then by far the coolest one is probably the going to be the biggest chase card in this set is the tag team that is the three legendary birds, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Um, so while they do have the full art version and then the goal or the hyper rainbow rare, this is the alternate art. And ooh, when when this comes out in English, like it'll make it really easy to get. But I really hope they don't kind of just give this away in a tin just to. You know, I, I want to be able to, I want to chase this card. I want to try to pull this myself in Unified Minds. And this thing is just so cool. It's kind of like a, uh, those glass, uh, the, the name, the, the word escapes me at the moment. But like, uh, uh, when you think about like in a church or something, just that kind of like glass artwork. Uh, so I feel like this art is just awesome, uh, for Legendary Bird. So really excited about that. And man, I hope... I hope they just don't give this card away. So um, that's what we have on the news for today. Again, uh, Pookie Beach is where I found this and credit to Poke Water Pokemon Master for bringing us this news. Uh, and then, so this is the website I mentioned before, uh, Pokemon TCG Deals uh, or the subreddit. Um, and so the box that we're going to open up for today is actually from Costco. It's from this deal for uh, basically when I got some of my Charizard boxes, I bought them off Amazon for like $20. So this is almost kind of like half off or though like just you can't get two of the same thing unless you get two obviously um so all these different deals for two premium collection boxes for 29.99 just a pretty good deal uh if anyone's curious about where we pick up some of the product um this also deal from costco it is no longer valid actually i'll just open it one more time but every single time i check they're kind of out of stock um and this one seems like the same thing uh, but in case you weren't aware, this is kind of like the website where I find all those deals. Uh, all right, guys, without further ado, let's get into the opening. All right, guys, let's get into this box. I do want to say that this one is quite cool how they kind of structured this. Um, so compared to like the Charizard Pre Marina one, uh, where you just get the full art of that Pokemon and then it comes with, you know, the evolution, uh, this one is a little bit different where you get 
you always get an Umbreon and Espeon GX card and then the Eevee card with the energy evolution uh, power. However, sorry, I'm just trying to open this at the same time and that never goes well. Um, but this time you get, you always get the Umbreon Espeon, however the box it is, so this one is the Espeon box, you get an alternate art variety of that uh, Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And so it's the same kind of packaging as the Charizard one, which means the cards might be a little damaged when we take them out. Let's see how we do. So we do have the Espeon coin, that's not bad. I do like this pin. Espeon pin. And then for packs, Guardians Rising. Ooh, okay, the Brion came out rather easily. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get these cards out. Oof, that's one's a little rough. And then the primary one, the Espeon Alternate Art. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Alright, go card! For that. And let's see what we got. We have the Jumbo Espeon. This thing's kind of dinged on the side, but that's okay. I don't think I'm any rush to get uh, Jumbo cards graded. So here's the, this is kind of like the regular Espeon, I guess. Pretty cool. And then here's the alternate Espeon. I think this Espeon does look cooler. Versus, I think the other one is kind of like where he's kind of like jumping into the frame. Ooh, this this one seems relatively undamaged. And then the Eevee is kind of warped, but not, not too bad. All right, there we go. And then we have the booster packs. So we do have a breakthrough as opposed to two Steam Siege, but all that, oh no, no burning shadows, but maybe it's because I'm not sure what the timing was. Uh, let's go Steam Siege first. We do have a nice little turtle with a little uh, air plant in there. Might find his way into videos every once in a while. Alright, so pack one. I already saw a glimpse of something. I'm not sure if it was a GX or what. Maybe it was a break. Alright, so we have a... We have a Ambipon. Come on, focus. Tangrowth. Howlucha, C dot, Nose Pass, that's a funny one. Litleo, Dino, Hoppip, and then, oh, it was a break, or Clowlitzer break. Hard to see what's going on here. And then a Gastrodon. For a regular rare. Breaks are kind of nice just because it feels like an extra. Uh, we're just in the reverse slot as opposed to the rare. So while breaks are, you know, nothing crazy, always happy to get them. Oh. All right, guys. As always, if you do enjoy this content, uh, show some love by hitting that like button down below. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the new, some of the new arts that we showed off from uh, that we went through for the Sky Legend as well as. Uh, yeah, just so you guys know, that's the subreddit to where you can find some good deals. Alright, so for this pack we got a Froki, Axu, a Aromatus, and then, ooh, what do we have here? What do we have? Boom! Ooh, Mega Galalee EX. Galalee is a weird, like, Snow Runt was uh, kind of strange, and then Galalee is super weird. It's just like this floating ice ball. It's almost, it's like a scarier ice version of like, kind of like how I find Geodude kind of strange. Um, Alright, well, we're actually going to do Evolutions last. We'll do Sun and Moon, then a couple Guardians Rising. I'll la end with Evolutions, hoping for that Mega Charizard. But so far, this has been a very strong box. Uh, we did get a Break card as well as a, I'm not sure, Mega is like, I'm not I. Are they kind of like the equivalent of like a full art? Because there are some secret rares. We got a Pokeball, Dartrix, Paris, Young Goose, Shelder, Zubat, Poplio, Poliwag Reverse, 
then a Cosmoem. Alright, on to Guardians Rising. Alright, we have a Psychic Energy. Clefable. That feels very... It's either a ditto or this art is kind of phoned in. <laughs> Matang, Choice Band, Rockruff, Beldum, Wellmer, Gumi, Wimpod, a Sogaleo, which is pretty cool, and then a, ooh, Garboder. Um, I wonder if this thing is still like very sought after. This uh, card is just really good. Uh, the Trash Um Oh wait, but it's the, the, is there, that doesn't have that, that ability. What am I thinking about? The Trash Lanch, so that is what I'm looking for. All right, into another pack of Guardians Rising. All right, let's see, we got a Water Energy. Whimsicott, ooh, really excited for Whimsicott in Unbroken Bonds. Graveler, Gumi, Nose Pass, so strange. Wishy Washy, Slowpoke, Stuffle, very cute. Ooh, that's a pretty cool tentacle. And then we have, huh, the Probo Pass. He always has these things following him. All right, for our last pack, we do have a Evolutions. This is probably, the of the packs, this is probably where I'd want a big hit the most. All right, we have a Pidgeot Spirit Link, Blastoise Spirit Link. Ooh, wouldn't mind a Mega Blastoise. We got a Staryu, Tangela, Rattata, Weedle, Seal Reverse, and then, ooh, that's pretty cool. And then a Dugong, so no hit there. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this box. We did get a kind of like a full art. As Since it's textured, I'm going to consider it kind of like a full art kind of thing. In the Mega Galilee EX. And we did get a Clowitzer Break. And honestly, these, these promos are actually quite nice as well. So really happy with the opening. As always, guys, once again, if you do want to support that channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for future content. You can hit that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.